Hello everyone, my name is Ronak and you are watching VectorWart. In today's video, we will talk about control themes in Avalonia. So the control themes are built upon styles to create switchable themes for controls. Control themes are analogous to styles in WPF and UWP, though their mechanism is slightly different. So before Avalonia uh, 11, control themes were created using standard styles. However, this approach had a fundamental problem. Once a style was applied to a control, there was no way to remove it. Consequently, if you wanted to change the theme for a specific instance of a control or a section of a user interface, the only option was to apply a second theme to the control and hope that it would override all the properties set to the original theme. The solution for this was introduced in Avalonia 11 in the form of control themes. So control themes are themselves styles, but uh, with some important differences. So let's talk about these differences. So control themes don't have a selector. Instead, they have a target type property, which describes the control that they target. And uh, then we have control themes are stored in a resource dictionary instead of a style collection and control themes are assigned to a control by setting the theme property, usually uh, using the static resource markup extension. Uh, one important uh, information about control themes are typically uh, applied to a templated control, but they can actually be applied to any control. However, for a non-templated control, it is often more convenient to use standard styles instead. So let's talk about an example of a rounded button. And this example will show a simple button theme, which displays a button with an ellipse button background uh, with the 90s GeoCities aesthetic. So let's uh, start with that. So here on the screen, I have an Avalonia.NET MVVM app uh, running. And uh, let's go to the solution explorer. And here you can see we, I have the main window XAML open and also the app.xaml uh, window open. Uh, on the uh, right hand side, uh, you must be seeing this uh, uh, UI or the visual designer, which is possible uh, using the uh, plugin which you need or the extension that you need to install. If you have any doubts regarding that, please do check out my previous video where I have explained how to uh, do that. So uh, let's move on and uh, start with the control uh, template. So let's start by going to our app.xaml file. And here in the app.xaml file, uh, let's add an application resource. And inside this application resource, um, we will have the control theme. And um, let's set a key and call it uh, ellipse button. And this is the key that we will use uh, as a static resource for the button that we will create on our main window. And let's set the target type as a button. And let's close this tag. And inside this control theme, now let's set some setters. So let's start with our first setter. And let's set the property. Uh, so let's set the target property of this uh, to the background. And uh, set the value to say blue. So the next setter, uh, Sorry, I needed, I had to close this off over here. And uh, then the next setter would be, uh, let, let me just copy this section over here and paste it several times because I have to add uh, several other setters. And I think uh, the next uh, property that we need to set is the foreground. And let's set the value to say yellow. The next property is uh, the padding. And let's set the value to say eight. And uh, the next property is the template itself. 
and this does not have a value like this but it will be uh, inside the tags so let's uh, uh, close the setter over here and inside this template tag uh, let's create a control template and inside this control template let's create the controls that will construct our button so the first thing is near we, what we need is a panel and inside our panel we need an ellipse and this ellipse uh, fill should be equal to template binding of type the background that we created on the top and then um, let's set some other properties like horizontal alignment to stretch uh, vertical alignment also to stretch and then let's add a content presenter sorry i had to close this and then we let's add a content presenter and this content presenter will um, display the name or the uh, content of the button so let's set a name of this content presenter and uh, let's set it to and uh, let's set the content to the template binding of type content and then next we'll set the margin to again to the template binding and set the value to the padding property that we created and uh, that's about it let's close this and let's close the content presenter so uh, our control theme is ready so let's once save this before we uh, move to the next part uh, I see an error here so I have uh, missed the closing tag so yeah so that's done so let's move to our main window where we will uh, reference this uh, control theme uh, to our button so on the main window we let's create a button and let's set the theme to a static resource and let's set the uh, name of the uh, control theme that we created here on the theme property and that is the ellipse uh, let me just copy it from here so that i do not miss type it and that is done so let's close this and then let's set the other properties of the button maybe uh, the horizontal al alignment uh, to center and uh, vertical alignment also to center and let's close our button and let's also uh, inside our button let's set the content which i missed so let me close the button like this and here inside our button let's set the control uh, sorry the content and which is hello world and just like that you can see our uh, content uh, control theme is applied to our button uh, let me zoom in and here you can see uh, our uh, 90s uh, geocities uh, 
theme button is ready so next uh, is the interaction in control themes so like standard styles uh, control theme supports nested styles which can be used to add interactions such as pointer over and pressed states so uh, in the next example let's uh, take a rounded button hover state and using nested styles we can make our button change color when the pointer is hover over it so let's move back to our app.saml and here uh, in our um, control theme let's make some changes so for starters uh, after our setter is closed let's add another style over here and inside this style uh, but first let's select a selector for the style and the selector would be called pointer over and let's close this style and inside this style now let's add some setters and the property is background and the value of this uh, background property would be say red and let's add one more uh, setter so let's copy this and paste it one more time and let's set the foreground now and let's set the value of the foreground to white so doing so uh, now let me save this and run our application so just like that you can see uh, we have introduced nested styles within our uh, control theme and uh, here is a demonstration of how uh, on the pointer over our background and foreground of the button changes so next uh, let's talk about control theme lookup so there are two ways in which a control theme can be found if the control themes property theme property is set then that control theme will be used otherwise avalonia will search the upwards through the logical tree of a control theme resource with an x key which matches the control style key so if you are having trouble getting avalonia to find your theme uh, make sure it uh, it is running a style key which matches the x key and target type of the control theme in effect this means that you have two choices for how to define a control theme first if you want the control theme to apply to all instances of the control then use an x type as the resource key and if you want the control theme to be applied to the selected instance of a control then use anything else as the resource key and look up for the resource using the static resource uh, commonly this uh, key will be a string which we did in this first example where we set the key uh, as a string and then used it in the button using the static resource so we'll next we'll uh, take a look at the other uh, way of uh, finding the control theme so in our button uh, let's make all the buttons uh, on the window that we apply to a rounded button so we can apply our new controls theme to all the buttons in the application by simply changing the x key of the control theme to match the button's type so here um, let's go back to our app.xaml and inside instead of this string let's add an x type and set it to button and close this so uh, the target type uh, the control dot uh, theme dot target type uh, property specifies the type to which uh, the setter property apply if you don't specify the target type you must qualify the properties in your setter objects which uh, with a class name by using the syntax uh, called property equal to class name dot property for example instead of setting the property equal to font size you must set property to text block dot font size or control dot font size so uh, this was all uh, on the control theme in avalonia 
hope you all like watching this video if you do please do give uh, this video a thumbs up like share and do subscribe to my channel till then bye bye